he he uh, coached the way he played. Uh, you know, I, I got to play against him. You know, quite a bit. Of, you know, when I was in the North Division there with the Leafs, and he was a hard nosed guy, played hard. And, uh, there was no nonsense, and uh, the way he played, I think he coaches the same way. But I think there's a calm, calm way he coaches. I think he allows his players to to either you know step forward and, and take control of their, their, their job situation. And, and if they don't, they kind of get sat out once in a while, but I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a, a like a raw, raw type guy. I just think he just lets the players play. And, and I, and you know, as well as I do Dukes, that I don't agree with that, you know, one for all, all for one. I think everybody needs to be treated differently and uh, you got to find a way how to make that player play for you. And I think he does that. Yeah. I mean, we're not, halfway through the season yet but we're still thinking this team is a stanley cup contender now because they're still in the top six and they played one of the better teams last night in toronto so looking forward at the trade deadline with pieces that they're tradable are you thinking that per perhaps they could use another top four defenseman I, yeah i do uh, i think it would be really really good uh, Again, there's a lot of pieces there. I mean, you got Lebor Hijack, you got uh, Lundqvist, you got Zach Jones. You know, these guys can all play in the National Hockey League, but right now, you can only dress six defensive, maybe seven at the most. You know, uh, so there's a lot of parts there that they could use to maybe maybe acquire that. And there's some forwards too that that, that that they could use too. I mean, I'd like to see one of the younger guys step up on the forwards. I mean, let's let's call it what it is. Nobody's really taking control. Of, of backing up the Zabinajads and the Panarins and the guys and Kreider and stuff like that when it comes to the offense. They're they're kind of struggling a little bit to find themselves. But that's that's you know, that, there's a reason for that too though, dudes, and, and let's call it what it is. It's hard to find ice time for those guys too when you have those three or four guys up front that are doing the bulk of the scoring. But I think there's lots of pieces for Chris Drury to play a little games at trade deadline. Because I uh, a couple of weeks ago, I would have still said the Rangers were pretenders, but I'm not anymore. 